first step to take, prior to you conducting your general biological field survey, is to work with the project manager, or PM, to schedule the survey. The PM will either call the client or property owner, or they will have you contact them directly to schedule the field site visit. Get the location of the project site and use Google Earth or other aerial imagery to study the size of the project site and how the site can be accessed. Use a driving app to get directions to the project site because you do not want to get lost and ask for directions. And you really do not want to call the client or PM and tell them you are lost and cannot find the project site or access it. Make sure you have permission to be at the project site. Always keep the client or property owner informed of your actions at their site. They may need to inform site staff that you will be on site conducting a bio survey. Talk to the client or property owner about any site access restrictions or limitations. For example, is the project site blocked by a locked gate, fencing, walls, or barbed wire? Will you need a key or combination for a lock? Is there a security guard at the entrance of the site? Do you need to check in at a front office before accessing the site? Do you need to be escorted to the project site or be chaperoned? To access your site, do you have to drive off-road? Hike a long distance in the backcountry? Walk in water or use a watercraft? Be picked up and dropped off by a helicopter? Take a tram or railway? Or do you have to ride a horse to get to the project site? Estimate how long the survey will take to complete and how long it will take you to get to the project site. Make sure you factor in traffic and site access limitations. Give yourself enough time to adequately survey your project site so that you do not have to return another day to finish the survey. An unexpected second trip to the project site can eat up your budget. You should never conduct a bio survey during inclement weather, so make sure you check the weather forecast. If your project site is in a remote or dangerous area, Please use the buddy system for safety. It is always best to have at least two people out in the field while conducting a field survey. Set up an end of survey check in procedure by phone with the PM or a fellow coworker. This will confirm you have concluded your survey and are leaving the project site safe. Gather your field supplies and gear before you head out to the site. Finally, make sure you take a vehicle that is appropriate for the project site. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.